Trespassing. Quack. Thumb. Satanic Catholic Baby. Yes, we die! Episode 62. 62. Is 62 we dubbed episodes. Dan Cummins. Joe Bates. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. You got me. Should we flip Drew it? me. <laughs> Just a split second there. <laughs> yeah, episode 62, the first episode of October, which uh, doesn't really... Yay. Yay. Why is that important? It's not... But it is. That's what that's what we're doing right now. Sure, time time is moving. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. Look, we, look at you breathing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were you just got back, uh, but you are never never stopping. Out on the road again soon for the comedy shows. Oh yeah, yeah. Just uh, as we record this, got back from Columbus and it was a lot of fun. So thanks to all the dummies uh, who came to that show. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely noticed them when the when I walk up on stage. Usually do like a bunch of references to the show, uh-huh. and always so, so far there hasn't been a single show of the tour where at least one person hasn't yelled out "Check for shoes." <laughs> so, uh, let, let, I, I know they're here. Love that that caught on. I know, me too. Uh, I knew so it was random. gonna be funny. God damn it! And uh, yeah, then I'll be in San Francisco coming up, and Spokane, Washington, uh, and somewhere else. Oh, Kansas City. Uh-huh. Yep. Got those are the next few, and then uh, DanCummins.tv for the rest of them. And I think we're gonna start adding the 2022 dates here soon. Okay. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Thanks for everyone for going out there and checking it out. Yay! Because it makes it a lot more fun. My friend comes back and he's happy. Yay! Happy. You come back and you're sad and you're bummed out. It's like, oh man. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a harder show to go? do. Not so good. Oh, I hate it. I guess I'm not funny. I'm done. I guess I'm not funny anymore. <laughs> no one likes me. You know what that is? The, uh, how many? Five pounds? Uh, or is it yeah. more? We got a couple of these. These are five pound bag of mustard. It's just a giant bag of mustard. Um, it was sent. Thank I, God that's I, thick plastic. I hate mustard. Yeah. And someone sent it to me for my birthday, so I don't remember your name. Ugh. Um, and it's just been sitting over there in the corner, and I decided to uh, put it on the table today for no reason. Nice. Please so. don't tear mustard. <laughs> uh, uh, not for sale in the merch store, but we do have something for sale. Yeah. Uh, got a new merch item right now, and because we are going into October, okay. how about Is We Dumb in a DEATH METAL Ooh, LOGO? Nice. <laughs> I like it. You got shirts, you got sweatshirts, you got a backpack, uh, and if you know what a death metal logo looks like where it's mm-hmm. all scribbly, mm-hmm. looks like a bunch of like a bunch of twigs right. that someone put into a word, mm-hmm. we got Is We Dumb. And that death metal logo look right now. I do love how that font, like whoever came up with that, it's almost exclusive to death metal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like I, I, it's my only association with that. Like maybe, <laughs> well, maybe horror, like a horror movie, but not even much that. Like the horror movies have its own fonts. Mm-hmm. That, but I'm like, did someone, like I wonder if that font is actually called like death metal uh, or I'm metal. Sure. Yeah, I've actually tried to, yeah. to look it up. Yeah. Uh, metal music font. I mm-hmm. bet you'd be something uh, along those lines. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, you can find that at badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com. Go check it out along with all of our other merch. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if you have any problems with your merch, here's where you send it. Okay. Store at badmagicproductions.com. That is the uh, well, customer service line for every single podcast that we do here yep. at Bad Magic Productions. Yes. Uh, anything else to add? Any teasers? Do you want to tease for One Star Heroes or fuck it? Uh, one Star Heroes, <laughs> it, it was a, a dummy suggestion. So I want to thank, uh, I'll thank you, but Ashley Phillips sent it in. And it, it, you know, I always think they're very funny, but this is one that I wouldn't have thought of on my own. <laughs> and it's um, Passion of the Christ, that movie with uh, that Mel Gibson did years ago. Oh, yes. Very well rated overall, but uh, a lot of a lot of one stars coming in hot. That's a sci fi, right? It's <laughs> some people would consider it a sci fi, oh. and then other people would consider that extremely offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, okay. Well, uh, speaking of things that there's no way I could have made it up, want to move on to the very super most important starting question? Yeah, and you said this one was a super extra weird, so it's I'm just, excited to get into it. Just some weird options. I'm excited All to right. see where we go. Zach. The very super most important starting question. Sent in by Dummy JD. Thanks, JD, I think. Uh Uh-huh. Would you rather, every day you wake up, your family members are different levels of AI robots. (laughs) Okay. Or every day you wake up, your family members are all different animals. Different levels of AI robots. Mm -hmm. Or different different animals. (laughs) Right. So are you going to wake up with animals or AI robots? <laughs> and I love the uh, the thought of Whoa. different levels of AI robots. Yeah. Like you're going to have, um, like one day your son might be a fucking genius. Right. And really helpful. And the next time it could be something that like a kindergartner slapped together in like a 
computer tech lab. Right. We're just like, hi, Dad. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and just not comprehensive about anything whatsoever. Uh, but your wife could also be a lion. <laughs> so right, that right. got a, or she could be a giraffe. She could be a sexy ass giraffe, though. Sexy ass giraffe, mm -hmm. lion. <laughs> Wearing the same clothes that they went to bed in. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you, you got, you got, uh, uh, your wife's wearing like some pajamas. And then, like, she wakes up just like a bear wearing some funny small pajamas. And you're like, ah, oh, come on, it's funny. I was picturing them shredded, like, just like the whole. <laughs> right. God, that is weird that, yeah, you're going to wake up next to uh, a robot <laughs> or um, or an animal. And sorry I was distracted there for a second. I don't know why I'd never noticed that the back of this chair can move. And it's like, I don't, I've used these kind of chairs so often, mm -hmm. but now during the show, and I just want to address this because this is a dumb thing. Mm -hmm. I can't figure out how to just not make it go back. And I know one of these levers. Push the lever in on the side. I, which, punch it in. I tried that. Punch it. Oh, punch it in. Wait. Ooh. I've boom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> teamwork makes the Te dream work. Teamwork. It was it was harder than I thought. But I'm mm -hmm. so glad you said that because that was gonna be in my head to a certain <laughs> level. The rest of the show, I'm like, oh, why am I not smart enough to figure out how to stop my own? I've had this chair for two years <laughs> and I can't figure out how to stop it. I've almost fallen out of so many of these chairs in the office. Oh my god. You lean back and mm -hmm. it's not pushed in quite all the way. You <laughs> <laughs> like for a second, you're fucking dead. Yeah. Like that is it. Yeah. Uh, I hope my kids have a great life without right. me. Right. Tell the my wife I love feeling. her. Yeah, that's it. You're you're out of here. God, I've done that so many times too. Just uh, yep, in the, in the chairs around here, <laughs> where because I, I like to keep the back locked, mm -hmm. but every once in a while, I don't know, it just comes unlocked, or maybe Lindsay sneaks in here and just tries to sabotage me. Right. <laughs> but but it's like that feeling where you're like, yeah, I go to stretch, and then you just immediately just throw yourself. It feels like you're gonna throw yourself off the back of the chair. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah, Brad would always be doing that. You could have Brad bratted right out of that chair. I could have bratted my way right out of this chair. That would have been the best episode. That would have been something <laughs> would. to celebrate. That'd be a highlight. Like we're celebrating fucking October right now, but that would have been a reason to celebrate episode 62. And then maybe I, I would have got to wear one of those funny neck braces, <laughs> which, which it sucks for the person wearing them, but like very funny visually. Mm -hmm. Like the old timey, just the big cushion under my thing. And then I'm just really <laughs> stiff upper body. And that's how I have to do the next like two months of shows. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So back to okay. the, would you rather? Okay. So robots or animals. And, and yeah, so different levels of AI. And are. both of them have to be, there has to be some danger involved. I think there is because right. It, so the yeah. AI could be could it be like Terminator, it could be Skynet, Terminator, really wanted to take you down, or it could be in different levels. So it could be like I feel like it could be like C three PO mm -hmm. or R two D two, or just like a like a shitty <laughs> like janky first edition like like back in the eighties in like the Sears catalog when they're like oh. real robots. What was the name of that one robot, Max? Oh man! Oh yeah, years he'd ago he'd roll around. And uh huh. Wah, wah. Right, right. It could, oh. could be that where it's like they have their bipedal looking, but mm -hmm. it's just wheels on the feet that scoot around, and they just fall over all the time. Like they were just pieces of shit, but they could work well enough to like look good in like on a commercial uh -huh. if they shot enough takes for thirty seconds. <laughs> It's like, so that, that you could be waking up next to that, just right. to like a janky 1985 Sears catalog toy. <laughs> or you could be waking up next to fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger's robot or Patrick, whatever his name, uh, in the next Terminator movie. Swayze. S Patrick Swayze. Everybody remembers Patrick Swayze in the second Terminator. <laughs> that would be awesome just to hold firm to that. No, no, no. I know what I saw. <laughs> I know what I saw. I know Patrick Swayze. I know, I know the Terminator franchise. Everyone always says this. Watch. Everyone, everyone always says this. <laughs> says I'm wrong. I'm not. Says I'm wrong. And you just refuse to look it up. <laughs> no, I don't even need to look it up. It was Patrick Swayze. It was Roadhouse. Dirty Dancing. Terminator 2. <laughs> he played the next evolution. Like, nah, that's a different guy. No, <laughs> you start no, no, no. It up, I guess grab your laptop out from front. No, fuck. Throw Come it across on. the room. <laughs> oh, you know, trust. Where'd the trust go? Right, right. Out oh, the window, you think huh? I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> you gotta know my fucking Swayze movies. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're like, you can wake up next to one of those robots. And family members are just different animals. There's a ton of animals. So it's really a gamble. Like, you can say your family, are they all the same yeah. one? No, nope, yeah, all different, different ones. But like, so do they cycle between? So maybe they all change, right? Yeah. But they're changing as a group. Right. So at least you can be like, okay, I've dealt with these three squirrels before. <laughs> like, or like, you know what? How much different can a squirrel be from this raccoon I had to deal with two weeks ago? Right. So they're all like a, a little flock of just different animals. Which is pretty cute if this is the right flock. <laughs> but if it's a, like a badger or a wolverine <laughs> or a fucking moose. Right. <laughs> Right, then it's, then it's terrible. Oh. Before we get it too far down the rabbit hole of bad animals, Give me rabbits. I, I, I just want to share this. Now I can't stop thinking about Patrick Swayze <laughs> as a robot 
in at movies he's actually in. Mm. And I think about like Dirty Dancing, just like, and I've had the time of my life. And it's like Jennifer Grey is getting ready to run across the dance floor to get like picked up. <laughs> and it's just the fucking robot from Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> and he like does like the big, the classic lift from Swayze and just fucking throws her like through the roof. <laughs> Starts killing everybody at the country club. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Throws her so high, shotguns everybody around, and then just catches her for the grand finale. Right. <laughs> it's a very he, short or he, movie. Or he just like like skeet shoots her. <laughs> it's like that's the that's the ending. The, the the that version of Dirty Dancing is ninety seconds long. <laughs> it's just like the everybody shows up for like the da- or the dancing instructor shows up for the big like country club or whatever it was for the summer camp <laughs> and just fucking annihilates everyone. It's just so much carnage and death. They can't fight back at all. They're not prepared. They're not armed. Mm-hmm. And it just quickly mows down literally every single person. Just gets flooded. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Okay. I like th- I like that version. I do like that version of the of the movie for sure. <laughs> fucking Roadhouse. <laughs> oh robots. my god, he could have kicked so much more ass if he was a fucking robot. A fucking Skynet robot. Missed opportunity. Right, missed opportunity. They're like, you're a little small for a bouncer, and he just fucking kills everyone in the entire building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so you too small. <laughs> um, but yeah, like okay, so it could be cute. Could be very Disney. Could be like a squirrel and a possum. And then I, I think and we just assume that the AI robots have to look like your family members. Oh, oh. Like so, maybe we should go there. So they're, ah. they're just going to be either really smart and they could kill you, right? Or they're just going to be really dumb. It's not going to be garbage can shaped R two D two taking up all your bed. <laughs> I don't think so. It's still, it's still. But looks... maybe she'll talk like R two D two. She's making beeps. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry, hon? <laughs> 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 that always... you got, get like a little a little pamphlet that's right. like okay what's uh what's this what's this reading uh, r2d2 okay, okay yes okay so what kind of hamburger would you like right. <laughs> i will say that always annoyed me in the original star wars movie which i know is now the fourth or welcome whatever but like when when luke would be hanging out with r2d2 and r2d2 would be just make noises and he'd be like oh okay and it's like you didn't fucking understand a word he said how'd you do that there's no fucking way you knew what he was talking about <laughs> out in T- Tatooine or t- whatever the fucking planet you're on l- working for your uncle uh-huh. out in the desert you're not learning fucking bebop language right. <laughs> oh is he really you think he's over here <laughs> 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 and because of, because our show Kiss can't ever not imagine the situation in sex that's also funny to think about oh, too oh yeah you like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't fuck <laughs> and then like you start doing it like, hey, the fuck I don't, I don't know you are you happy are you mad <laughs> I don't, you're beeping a lot. <laughs> different levels of AI intelligence or, or different AI levels. But if they do look the same as your family, that's an interesting thing where you just don't know how smart your family's going to be from day to day. Mm-hmm. That's pretty funny. Where like one day, you know, you wake up and you're just, they're just fucking idiots. <laughs> they're like that. So uh, nothing new. So Am I right? Boom! 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 <laughs> we, did, we did a high five and then now we'll get a party horn. <laughs> So business so exactly as same. usual. Oh, uh, good, good one. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I I was just p- picturing like what's that Michael Keaton or the duplicity? Yeah, like multiplicity. The, m- multiplicity. Yeah, <laughs> where it's like, both just like pizza, Steve. Right. Like like your whole family is pizza, Steve. Uh-huh. Uh, version of intelligence. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> one day, one day, and then just tomorrow you hope for better gets worse. You're like no. <laughs> And then, and then, like another day, they're you're the dumbest by far. <laughs> right. Like they're so much more advanced, and they're they're, just, they're endless right. face palms to you. And you're <laughs> right. like, oh man, you're just like a fucking like a monkey with a head wound, living with a human family. You just <laughs> don't know how anything works. Mm-hmm. I I think, well, if if there's you, if there's no violence coming out of the AI, I'm gonna pick different AI levels rather than risk the chance of like waking up with um like a fucking pack of hyenas <laughs> for a family. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just get it, savagely attacked. Good night. You lock yourself in your cage. You yeah. just don't know how things are going to go in the morning. Oh, that's if you a wake different up, twist. You wake up and there's some puppies and you're like, thank God. I love you guys there. Now, now I'm leaning back more towards animals. Mm-mm. If I sleep in a steel cage, none of the animals have thumbs. Like, mm-hmm. well, do gorilla, maybe gorillas have thumbs. Of course, they, I think they do for they, sure. <laughs> like 100%. <laughs> okay, never mind. Gorillas have thumbs. Now, because now I'm picturing how dumb that would be. Like, of all primates, just have four fingers. Like, and it's like they can't grab anything. <laughs> They're so smart, but they just can't. Like, they don't have opposable thumbs. What makes monkeys more advanced? What is that thing? <laughs> opposable thumbs. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what I was taught so many times. Um, all right, never mind. But they can't. They're probably they don't gonna have get, the key. They're not going to get the key. <laughs> there you go. It's going to be a retina scan or something. I'm going to have some advanced technology so I, they they don't get in the cage. Mm-hmm. Now the AI people, they could get in the cage. 
They could just talk to the cage, maybe, with some kind of fucking Bluetooth yeah. technology. So if they can be evil, cage doesn't keep you protected from the robots. Mm. So I, I'm leaning towards sleeping in a cage. You wake up, assess what kind of animals you got in your house, <laughs> and then you take it from there. And you have to live in a very different kind of house. You have to have, a, have a, basically like a steel house. Do they act like your family at all? I don't know that either. Or are they just dumb mm. squirrels? If they're just animals... Uh, kill them. <laughs> kill them. At that point, kill them. Plus, you can Hunt fuck them. a robot. Hunt your family. Get fuck a squirrel. Can't fuck it. Okay, so that's that. Wow, that's true. I, I oh, you never fuck, get to have sex again. I'd fuck a dumb ass robot over trying to fuck a bear. I think you're with me. On God, that. now I'm leaning back towards robots <laughs> because if it's always animals, I mean, every every once in a while, I guess they could happen to pop up into being humans. But if not, and you're supposed to stay married like to your wife, every once in a while you're gonna get horny enough where you're gonna like, okay, as long as they're a mammal, as long as they're a mammal over fifty pounds, I'm gonna fuck them, <laughs> <laughs> right? You're, like, you're just weighing a deer. <laughs> like that's your, you just have this weird internal guidelines that you're not really sure why you're following them. Right. Oh, please be a big sheep. Please, please be a big sheep. Be a big sheep. <laughs> please be a big sheep. I'm so horny today. I'll uh, be a small bear. Be a small <laughs> bear. Be a small bear. <laughs> please be a small bear. How much do how much does this boat's a baby moose? How much does the baby moose weigh? It's like this what? Why is he doing this? Why is he fucking a baby moose? That's my wife! <laughs> it's my wife! Get out of here! Yeah, baby moose! <laughs> Close the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking weirdo. You don't know what it's Trying like. Trying to fuck my wife! <laughs> yeah, sure, she's a baby giraffe today. <laughs> uh, Please be a skinny cow. Please be a skinny cow. <laughs> <laughs> Please be a sexy cow. Please be a sexy ass cow. Sexy ass cow. Um, uh, robots? Ah, uh, robots. Okay. I think we can both agree with that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you saw something dumb while you were on your travels. Oh, yeah, I did. And we're going to talk about that mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> dumb. In the wild. Have a look at this little beauty. <laughs> good, se good sex <laughs> argument at the end, because I wasn't thinking about the need for, or the hope for sex with the wife. You must have sex recently. <laughs> just it's off my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it just, you just got it out of your head. Whatever. Whatever, fuck you, bro. <laughs> Weird flex, but all right. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, so, so dumb thing I saw, dumb in the wild, was I was actually with a, another member of the Bad Magic, Bad Magic crew. I was out in Columbus, and Liz Hernandez, who does, you know, uh, a lot of the Bad Magic social engagement mm -hmm. and emails. Right. Um, she lives not too far from Columbus with her husband, Kyle, who was a great guy I got to meet. Both wonderful human beings. Yeah, but, yeah wonderful. I haven't yeah, met the kids, beings. so they're probably just, just equally as shitty. Come on. <laughs> I, know, I haven't met the kids either. They're a boy and a girl, and they mm -hmm. sound like they're good kids. And so, yeah, so Liz and Kyle, so I'm meeting them at this North Star Cafe, if you happen to live in Columbus, in the Easton Town Center. Mm -hmm. uh, cool little, nice little cafe. And but the, how it works is it's like cafeteria style. So you have your line in the entrance where everybody's coming in, grabbing their menus, right. ordering at the counter, get your little buzzer. They bring you their food, and then there's an exit out of a different door. And as we're, and it was pretty packed. Okay. And so there's a line coming out the door for the entrance, and we're standing kind of in the just barely inside. And these two, I would say twenty-ish year old. I will. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're in sororities. All right. Two young blonde women. Um. We're coming in hot, coming out hot. Okay, they seem heated. I don't know. They're a little upset about something, and they're leaving. But they're but they choose to leave in the entrance, and they're annoyed at everybody for being in their way because they're not supposed to fucking leave that way. <laughs> they don't connect. There's like there's no room. It's very tight, and the door's not big enough. So it's like it fucks up everybody. Like when they're standing for you oh. to exit out the oh, entrance. Excuse me. Excuse right. Me. Everybody's oh, like, oh, second. excuse me. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. I get your oh, way. Sorry about that. And they're annoyed by that. Mm -hmm. And there was this family in line in front of us. It was uh, two women. Turns out, I talked to them later. It was um, mom and sister. Actually, it was, I'm sorry. It was three. Mom, friend, sister, all in their early twenties, and then or mid twenties, I guess. And then three young kids. Uh, and one of them was like a toddler, two-ish years old. All right. And the kids are playing, you know, again, towards the entrance in a place where it's totally, they're totally out of anybody's way, but they're in the way of these girls trying to exit. And I missed it. I just heard the mom react. These girls walk by. I'm like, geez, what's going on here? Uh -huh. And then I hear the mom be like, oh my God, she, I can't believe she said that. And then, and then her sister goes, what, what'd she say? And, and I'm, I'm like, oh my God, what just happened? Uh -huh. And cause I'm standing right next to him. And I can't remember the exact phrasing, but to the toddler, one of the girls leaving was like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> or, or you stupid fucking kid. But like fucking, like aggressive with the word fuck to the kid. <laughs> 
and and the kid, I guess, was and then the little kid was like startled. I bet. Yeah, and like and like <laughs> like looked like, oh my god, like look, mommy, why did that person say that to me? Then it was so awesome. Then the sister, and she couldn't have been more than I would say she's 23, 24. She's like, fucking what? Mm-hmm. And she's like, where are they? And and then they tried to grab her. I guess she's the hothead of the three. <laughs> and they try to grab her, and they're like, no, don't. And she's like, uh-uh, no, I'm gonna find them. And she like gets <laughs> away from them, goes out and looks for these two girls. And she comes back about you know two minutes later and she wasn't able to find them. Oh. But it's like almost got to see her give these girls possibly a fucking beat down. Which and I think she would have pretty Based entertaining. On how, she was pretty athletic. She wasn't like none of them were very big, but she had a fire in her. I would have put money on her taking out the other two because they looked real fucking soft. <laughs> right. They look like a little they, doughy. Yeah, like the kind of attitude you know where it's like young pretty girl. Uh, the world's not going to generally throw you too much uh, back in the way of like like violent like a pushback. Punch? <laughs> well, because I <laughs> yeah. joked with them. I'm, yeah. I joked with them. I'm like, if I would have heard, mm-hmm. I'm like, sorry, but I wouldn't have said anything to him still because doesn't matter what they do. Them looking like them, me looking like me. Everyone who sees that is like, what the fuck is that monster doing to those poor young women? <laughs> they could have just killed a kid. <laughs> and initially, people would have fucking grabbed me, throw me to the ground, beat me a little bit. And then once the story came out, they'd be like, oh, okay. Sorry about Sorry. But you still shouldn't yell at him. <laughs> but, you, but you raised your voice. But you raised your voice at him. You did. I mean, you know, you made him cry. They killed a kid, man. They no. killed a kid. Yeah, but you didn't have to make him cry. Tomatoes, potatoes. You didn't have to. Tomatoes, potatoes. So <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> but, but I just like the audacity of the to, to or I guess swear just the idiot, to yeah, kid? just the idiot yeah to, to swear to a little kid and uh. they swear to a little kid for being in their way when you were in the wrong like you were going the wrong fucking way he wouldn't have been in your way if you'd have been smart enough just to leave through the fucking exit you're going upstream so it's just a Pissing double whammy mm-hmm. dumb and just like two like what a fucking bitch uh-huh. like move to like do that to a kid right. I can't remember the last time I've heard somebody swear at somebody else's kid in public no I don't think I ever ever Especially have saying fuck I mean I hear oh my god sadly you hear when like a parent talks to a kid that's so sad that's a little aggressive yeah. and the kid's like four so uncomfortable like shut your fucking mouth it's like, <sighs> a, little, like, a, like a five year old and I'm like yep. thanks yep e, I immediately want to steal you from whatever's going on behind the doors right because that's terrible there was but a, I don't oh, think I've, I don't think I've, a, someone else's kid? Yeah. I mean, unless they were doing something really stupid, but I don't know if, I, I'm not sure if it'd be like below 10 years old. Yeah. And I, like a little kid like doing, you know, whatever, like digging through a dumpster. Hey, get the fuck out of there. Like something like that. Yeah, so but not crazy. just walking by, but get the fuck out of my way. And, and how you <laughs> so look weird. People people like to act like, or a lot of people like to act like, uh, oh, you how you look doesn't matter, and your gender doesn't matter, and your race doesn't matter for how the world. Y- it fucking matters. Those people, oh, I don't see color, I don't see race, I don't see gender. I don't, yeah, you do. <laughs> Every and like you know, different people are treated by the general public in different ways. No one looking like us could get away with that. Like I bet, like maybe this wasn't her first time because if you're a petite. Like pretty nineteen year old or whatever, people are gonna be mad, mm. but they're not gonna react to you yelling at their kid like they're gonna react to me yelling at your kid. <laughs> like, uh, me, they're either gonna be well, depending on who they are, scared, or they're gonna beat my fucking ass. <laughs> right. But she, in all likelihood, is not gonna get. I mean, the one girl went after her, but in all likelihood, normally not gonna get her fucking ass beat mm. because it it just doesn't look good to yell. <laughs> At a small woman. <laughs> like, the optics are real bad. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. You can level. yell at me all day long. Right. Because people are going to assume, like, yeah, that guy looks like a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, what'd he do? What'd he do? Clearly, that Clearly. fucking monster. In the wrong. Right. With his crazy eyes and his dark features, <laughs> he did something wrong. He's been doing probably naughty shit his whole life. He's been doing naughty. He, look at it. He's got like, the tattoos. He's, na- he's a naughty guy. <laughs> and whatever they're yelling at him for, he fucking deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here for it, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, going against the stream like that. Uh, like it, uh, it reminds you of like parking lots. Yes. Oh, yes. That which happened is to me. super annoying. Yep. That happened to me at the airport the other day. Not a big deal at all. I mean, just drove around them. But that happens. I'm sure to all of us a fair amount when they're slanted a certain way in the parking lot, which clearly indicates, and they always have the arrows painted that you're supposed to go that way, so you know you can pull into those spots. And I've definitely been guilty of going down the wrong way. Yeah, you just the, blow it, right? Yeah. Blow it. But then I, I give a wave to people like, "Shit, sorry, <laughs> I know I'm in the wrong area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb." <laughs> and uh, but that happened the other day where I go to turn in to what's supposed to be a one way, and then I kind of had to like you know really kind of jerk the wheel the other way and go around like I cut too hard because this other guy's coming towards me, and then he looks at me like, "What the fuck?" Because <laughs> I'm cutting into like you know where he's trying to drive, but I'm like, "Yeah, but you're going the wrong way." Like, you you goofed. This is the you're the problem, <laughs> not, not me. Right. I didn't I didn't look hard enough for you because you're not supposed to be there. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So just don't do that. Don't, so don't be, do that. Don't be the salmon. Don't ever say fuck to a, to a, somebody else's kid. Right. Un- unless they're like attacking your kid. It has to be over the top. <laughs> if if a small child is has a hammer. I don't even know wh- where this scenario would be. And they, gun. Let's give him a gun. Let's give him a gun. They have a gun pointed at your kid. Then, obviously, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, like, go off. Right. You know, grab the gun from them. And then, yeah, then you can be like, you can fucking spank him in that situation. <laughs> you can spank, if a, if a toddler brings a, a loaded gun to the playground and you're able to disarm the toddler, mm. fucking spank that toddler. Mm-hmm. There's not a jury in the world that's going to convict you <laughs> for fucking hitting that kid in that situation. <laughs> right? But you had to do something. Other than the situations like that. Maybe maybe hold back on, you know, saying fuck you or get the fuck out of my way. Get the fuck out of the way to a kid. Get the fuck out of the way. To a fucking two year old. And just like I mean, the only thing oh, that Jesus follows Christ. that is a kick. Is like a side <laughs> like a side leg oh, kick. Oh my god. Just a pa. And just kicking him into the glass. Oh my god. If I would have seen her kick that kid, I still can't I still have to be careful. You still couldn't do anything. I still I, I could block the exit. <laughs> And then I, I would have to block the exit and yell, she just kicked the kid! She just kicked the kid! Someone else she kicked the it. kid! I look too scary for this! I can't touch her! So please, <laughs> you punch her! She kicked the kid! I look too scary to care! I look too scary to act! I can just do this! I can just alert! <laughs> I'm just able to alert in this situation! Mean? I've already gone to jail! I watched another lady kick a kid and then I got mad at her! And I went to jail! I went to jail for her kicking the kid! I'm making the same mistake twice, it's scary in there. Oh my god. So don't, so don't yell at kids. <laughs> don't yell at kids. And uh, another lesson in there too, like don't go against the stream. Don't go against the stream. Don't be the salmon going against the stream in a restaurant. Yeah. Because you're fucking it up. And I, and I will say on the kids thing, there's an age. I don't know what it is. Yeah, they, I'm kids. thinking like 10. 10, 11, 12. There's a certain age where if a kid's being a huge dickhead, mm-hmm. let it fucking rip. But if they're just standing in your way, never okay. Right. It's not okay to talk to anybody like that. You don't right. want a kid. Like that's right. the, the lesson here. That's true. That's yeah. true. And, <laughs> and two-year-old... <I, laughs> Just it don't ever just a, It is just, uh, it's so funny though. Mm-hmm. Like it's real. Yell at their parents. <laughs> sure, don't fucking don't. Yep, because because that would have been still messed up. But uh. but but I would at least have respected it more if the girl trying to leave would have looked directly at the mom mm-hmm. and be like, "Can you get your fucking kid out of the way?" That's still a douche move. <laughs> but at least you're addressing an adult, <laughs> and then you're risking that mom being like, "Fucking what did you just say?" <laughs> and then she's gonna hit you with the kid, and then she's gonna take her kid and she's gonna use the kid as a weapon. Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson, that baby, right? She's gonna you. Randy Johnson. You're gonna be that fucking pigeon. <laughs> there you are. She's gonna Randy that Randy Johnson her kid into you <sighs> or something. Okay, let's move on to dumb okay. dumb idiots. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Let's do it. Dumb, 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 dumb idiot. Oh, Danny boy. You're gonna yes. love this song. Okay. Alright, so this song. Um, uh. <laughs> this story though. <laughs> I love just this music bed. You're gonna fucking love this. <laughs> Listen. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Damn, you're right, man. <laughs> you're right, bro. You knew it. You know me. <laughs> you that's, know me so well. That's my music. Uh, this article <laughs> sent in by Dummy Joanne. It Joanne. is so funny. You'll, I mean, you'll you'll be really shocked to know that it happened in Florida. <laughs> but South Florida <gasps> couple <gasps> tries to have wedding at strangers' mansion without permission. Oh my god, I've never heard of someone trying to pull this off. Ooh. Courtney Wilson. And Shanita Jones huh? invited family and friends to their dream home and estate for their weekend oh my wedding God. celebration. The ceremony Saturday, brunch on Sunday. Jesus Christ. Which is one problem. The couple didn't own the 16,300 square foot, 1,500 square meter mansion uh, and didn't have permission to use it. That is outrageous. <laughs> yeah. So the suburban Fort Lauderdale estate had How'd everything. they get in? A bowling alley, swimming pool with a waterfall, hot tub, tennis courts, gazebo, and an 800-foot bar. <laughs> That's a lot of bar, bar <laughs> That's space. a badass bar. Uh, Wilson said it was God's plan that the couple oh married Oh, my there. God. You moron. But dis- God's plan? <laughs> God wanted me to break into this neighbor's or person's property. But despite what the invita- uh, invitation referred, uh, the actual owner, Nathan Finkel, never gave them permission <laughs> to hold the festivities there. He was stunned when Wilson showed up Saturday morning to set up. He called the police yeah! and uh, and got them taken out of there. I have people trespassing on my property. Right. Finkel told 911 dispatcher. Oh my God, this is And great. they keep harassing me, calling me. <laughs> they say they're having a wedding there and it's God's message. Oh my God, they're insane. I don't know what's going on. All I want is for it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and they're sitting on my property right at the front gate right now. I didn't... The, the God angle <laughs> kills me. That is... Re- oh, how... How entertaining, though. <laughs> like, as a story to tell your friends later, but like... I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm, now I'm just picturing, like, a bunch of people mm. congregating in my backyard. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And they're like, no, 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 God wants us to be here. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> then, it, okay. Can, that's you, when can you, get, you fire into the air there? And can you can you fire your gun around him in that situation legally? I don't think so. Okay. But I'm glad you asked before you just went and did it. <laughs> right. For the next time that, <laughs> that it happens. That, the next time that happens in your backyard. Because ideally I'd want to shoot a shotgun just like above their heads a little bit and be like, fucking get out of here. <laughs> Please go. Go God, now. God has a different plan God for me. God has a different plan. Ooh, that's a nice. good that's the line like the god's god's plan to be here and just well the, god it's a different plan for me well the devil wants me to blow your fucking brains out so let's let's, let's see who wins i'm gonna go <laughs> and just like, like you point it right at their head okay <laughs> i, I might have uh, uh i misheard him I might have the god message. wants me to leave now he, he was whispering <laughs> he was whispering i, I must have missed it i had the wrong <laughs> address it must be god's uh, plan must be at a different address oh you, look at that yeah uh, god gave me the wrong address oh my. Can you imagine, like, being one of their many guests, mm -hmm. and you show up, like, you get the invitation? Because I'm wondering, if all these people showed up, they clearly sent the invitation to go to this place. Yes, at least saying, uh, invitation what? said, like, this is where we're having the wedding. Yeah. So they told them that they had this house. Without ever talking to the owner, mm -hmm. God told them to just, like, just send out the invitations and have everybody show up. I'm not friends with that person anymore. Like, <laughs> unless you're also, uh, like, a culty maniac, mm -hmm. how could you? There's no fucking There's no way. way. Absolutely They're so not. mentally unstable. Uh, okay, that's so, so embarrassing. You could have got like got all them in trouble. Or she could have gotten them. You know when you're shopping for wedding venues, yeah. Like if you're getting married, you're like, where, where should we get married? Right. We do a destination. Yeah. Are we doing it here? Yeah. I just love the idea of like they just like drove around a yeah. rich neighborhood. I'm like, and said, so that's it, baby. That's my dream. Home. <laughs> oh, anything for you, baby. <laughs> Like, we, you want it? Baby gets it. They're like, okay, thank you. And they just fucking, they're like, that's how they picked it up. Wow. They just saw a giant house and were like, this is the spot. And what, what's crazy is I would think like blatant, obvious, unmedicated, like mental illness. Mm -hmm. if, uh, ju but if just one of them like came there. But the couple both agreed. <laughs> to do it. To do that. And they sent out invitations. Like there was a whole plan to get everybody there. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy. What do they think that he, maybe they just thought he would fold? You'd be like, okay, you're right. I mean, you guys are already here. Which might is well also have, so crazy. Might as well have a wedding. Right. <laughs> like, there's no way. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm wasting everyone's time. Come on in. Bowling alley's open. I wish I wish if more people's lives were like public and you could just <laughs> pick to like follow people. Like, I want to know what exactly what this person is doing for the next, you know, couple years, <laughs> which obviously isn't reality. But if, if that was reality, I would want to like track, like basically have like the whatever the equivalent of a Google update on these two people. Mm -hmm. And I would just like, what we could just check in with them. Like every <laughs> six months, we're like, here's what's going on with, what was it? Sharita and who? <laughs> uh, here's a, uh, it was Courtney and Shanita. Shanita. Okay. Shanita and Courtney. Mm -hmm. We could check in like, here's what's going on with Shanita and Courtney. Uh, you know, Shanita's in a fucking mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> and, Cor and Courtney has, and Courtney's the, has the room next door. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney's walking around with a five pound bag of mustard. <laughs> Just talking about God's plan. That's a dead giveaway. That you're crazy. <laughs> like, if you're caught, if you're caught walking around treating a five pound bag yeah. of mustard like it's a baby, like it's in a stroller, you got you got to go to the loony Court, bin. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney's pushing a baby carriage with a five pound bag of mustard in, it in downtown Fort Lauderdale. And, and uh, well, Shanita, Shanita, uh, I kept wanting to put the R in there. Uh, Shanita, Shanita is, you know, like still in room thirty-two of the whatever asylum. <laughs> right. like, she's saving, a, saving a spot for uh, right. shaving. She's saving a spot for Courtney. <laughs> she's shaving. Who she's, she's expecting to be there very soon. <laughs> right. They they switch. They go back and forth. Uh -huh. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes Shanita pushes the fucking five-pound bag of mustard, and then Courtney goes into the institution. God damn, that's so funny to me. There's just there's no way though that this couple. If we were to check on them in like five years, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, they're doing great. They have a nice life together. They uh, both have, you know, uh, steady jobs and they, you know, got a nice little house with a yard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 0% chance <laughs> just based on their wedding plan. Oh, absolutely not. 0% chance <laughs> that things are going to work out for them on any level going forward. I do kind of wish it did. I think we say, we keep on saying five pound, right? I think it's a five so. gallon. It's a five gallon bag of mustard. <laughs> That's. I think it weighs, it weighs more than five pounds. See. Yeah, it's more than five pounds. Oh yeah, that's at least that's like a, a, 20. That's a 10, 15, 20 pound bag of mustard. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much mustard. That's so gross. There's another one over there. This one, just has, this one just has a little face on it. I like mustard, but that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm glad you just, you just accidentally moved it closer to you because I've been staring at it this whole time, <laughs> wanting to throw up. I like the idea of of just applying this sort of scenario to other things. Mm -hmm. Like let's just say uh, you went to Applebee's 
<laughs> and you walked in there, uh, and your family, right. you guys just fucking moved in, yeah. and then you just go to like one of the booths and set up a bunk bed. Right. And you start hanging some shit on the walls. It's like you don't have a, you don't have to understand some, the, the concept some, of other like, people's like, property. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Right. Like, God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. I live in this Applebee's now. Yeah, God wanted me to live in this Applebee's. <laughs> You're putting your books in there. Do, 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 do. God knows I love your chicken tenders. <laughs> and you want me to have easier access to them. Your happy hour is phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. And I want to be here for it every day. <laughs> You, you're gonna take that away from me <laughs> then take it up with god that is that is a weird i mean that's such an invasion like i just <laughs> i just think about i think about like going to our boat and there's just another family in the boat and they're just like as i come up to like our slip they're just like taking it out in the water i'm like hey, whoa what are you doing hey partner god wants us to have your boat <laughs> what? <laughs> what he said that he said that <laughs> unbelievable because he told me that's a, he told me to buy the boat. <laughs> yeah, well, things change. <laughs> and then that works that, mysterious ways. Or like you park somewhere, like you know, like we just went to lunch at the pho place. Mm -hmm. It's like that'd be like we walk back to my truck and there's someone trying to like break in. I'm like, hey, dude, what the fuck? No, 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 I'm not trying to break in. I'm not trying to break in. Sorry, sorry, but man, God, God wants me to have your truck. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. Well, well, you got it then. Can't can't argue with that. Can't argue with God. Take the truck. <laughs> uh, the, the, the right the right blinkers out. Just <laughs> let you know before you go. I don't want you to get in trouble. Wow. Yeah. Just, just that's that is un it's just unbelievable to me because there's two. That's something where it's like that would story would read so different if like so and so showed up there, just a random mentally unstable person, and invited all their friends to come join them. Mm -hmm. But they actually had the wedding party show up at a house that did now now I wonder if like what if how fucking crazy is this? What if um only one of those women set it up and the other one was just a surprise to everybody else <laughs> how like the disaster that spells for your wedding if you're like maybe i got this no no you, you don't you, have to worry about a damn thing you took care of the catering you took care of all this i got the venue i've been <laughs> no yeah of course i've been contacting the venue and like the venue's great and then, <laughs> and then you show up and they're like what the fuck do you mean you never <laughs> talk to them right. this is someone's house it's what like, are you doing courtney i mean they have surprise birthdays this is a surprise wedding wow like, you, she just, you don't know you don't know you were getting married and where it's going to be. But have fun. Actually, that sounds like probably a culture somewhere. Uh, that just sounds like such good <laughs> gossip for everybody. Like, like you float, you fly into town and you're so annoyed. Uh, like, what the fuck, man? The wedding's not going to happen. But also, you have the best crazy-ass wedding story. And you knew, maybe you knew oh. she was crazy in the first, like, that's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm not missing this mm -hmm. shit. Not I miss will this. go anywhere. And, you, and then I just wonder, like, so, so what was plan B? <laughs> I mean, they have an officiant. Mm -hmm. They have all these people showing. Do they just then all just like, okay, let's just drive over to the park. Or let's just, just do it over, on the sidewalk. Or just do it in our living room. <laughs> they, just, they just end up going into like their house or whatever, trying to cram them all in mm. wherever they live. Or yeah, or just like some a parking lot. There's in the fucking Walmart parking lot. That's a good spot for a wedding, right? Because they let people stay overnight in RVs there, like <laughs> or like an abandoned kind of strip mall parking. Like they just had to go mm -hmm. somewhere fucking janky, <laughs> like break into an abandoned warehouse, <laughs> just have the wedding inside there. <laughs> Why not? That oh man, there's a story. There's more of a story there. I know. That's um, from the guy that owns the mansion's perspective too. It's pretty funny. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like, what the fuck? He's like looking out his Excuse fourth me? floor. What are you talking? Right. What? No. No, you may not come in. That... And they just keep pushing the call button on the gate. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I've never. God's plan. God's plan. Ding, 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 ding. The closest I've heard to an equivalent of that is I know some of my friends who are in Portland, you know, where there's a, a large homeless population and also a lot of tolerance for a large homeless population. And they let them kind of just like camp out wherever. Mm -hmm. Like there's even like a term for it. I can't remember. But like they're on these tents everywhere. I've heard of people. Like they go out their backyard, like, you know, in the morning they wake up and they look out the window and there's just like a couple people camped out in their backyard. And like, that would be so weird. Like, what, what are you doing? This isn't a fucking park. Mm. This is my yard and that you never talk to me about. <laughs> and then sometimes I have heard about those people like not wanting to leave then. And it's like, basically they have a different philosophy on how the world's supposed to work. Like, well, I don't believe in private property. I don't fucking care. <laughs> that is the way things are here, and you have to get out of here. But this is next level. Yeah, it's, it's totally insane. Good find. Uh, and now we're going to move on to another dumb thing. Okay. Uh, and this is Apocalypse Pending. It's the Apocalypse. So this story... It's just a reminder that as we progress through the timeline of life, yeah, uh, it's going to be harder and harder to get away with shit. Mm -hmm. Just the way it's going to be. And this guy just uh, forgot that. Okay. Forgot that for a moment. So a man who tried to pull a fast one on the owner of a Tesla forgot one important thing. 
The cars have cameras. Oh. So Arthur Bates Jr. didn't <laughs> realize that when he walked behind one of the cars in Louisiana and took a phony fall as the driver backed up, but Bates kept oh, the ruse going even further. He called 911, claiming he was a victim of a hit and run, complaining of back, leg, and neck injuries. Oh, my God. Police tracked down the Tesla driver. Needless to say, video ruined Bates' stories, and he was arrested for filing a false police report. Oh, uh, my, I here, can't wait to watch this. Here's the video. And again, I'll have I'll have a link to this video. Okay, so doing his shorts, walking. Oh my God, blatant! I'm just falling down. <laughs> uh-huh. Ouch! Ouchie! Oh no! You hit me! And I like what the owner does when he gets out here. He puts his foot on the guy's bumper mm-hmm. to like. <laughs> the guy. get, the, get the fuck out of here! The guy, out guy out walks here. out with his camera, knocks his foot away. <laughs> get the Dude, fuck out of here! What are you, you fucking moron? <laughs> oh yeah, because he's watching that the whole time. Oh, mm-hmm. this guy. That'd be so. That'd be so. He's called the poli- yep, and he called the police on himself. Yeah, he basically oh. called the police, tried to report a hit and run. Uh, but that is so funny to me, just forgetting. And then out of right. all cars, like it wasn't a, an, yeah. an eighty-five right Honda. You just understand that modern cars. It was a modern Tesla that you know is going to have a thousand cameras around it. And that's pretty cool that it, the camera on that records. Because mm-hmm. I don't think my backup camera does that. I'm not sure if there is a. I, I didn't know if there was a. Because uh, you can look at the the black box. So to say, speak uh, in a car. So yeah. maybe it is getting logged, and then it just keeps recording over. And it just keeps it for a certain amount of time, and then they can go back and look at it. I don't. I, know I never that's even thought. To, yeah. I don't. I don't know either. I've never even thought to look into that. But if that's not a thing, it needs to be oh, for situations like this, right. for like uh, traffic accidents. That's sure. so great. Yeah. If somebody denies, like, oh, you, I didn't rear end you. You backed into me. Mm-hmm. That, that, that. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I guess that that time you're not backing up. But maybe what if what if the camera was just always on. And just right. recording. Right. So they have the sensors mm-hmm. already on a car. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, like a lot of cars have a front camera and a back camera and yep. then side cameras. What if those were always recording? Just, yeah, just let them roll and mm-hmm. they can go over, you know, yeah. have a certain storage space. Right. Every six hours it loops through or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's, a, oh, that's a great idea. And that way, I mean, you could, as long as you're not a crazy person who's trying to get away with the crime because you'll fuck yourself over. Yep. But yep. Uh, apart from that, it should help with the truth. In a I, lot of auto accidents. Oh man, that's going to be a thing now. I, I, I never thought of that, and that's and, that, and that's great just to actually understand who's at fault for accidents, so false people don't get blamed. Because that, that's one of my man biggest pet peeves, like false reports. Right. And I, and I doubt the uh, that carried much sentencing weight, like filing a false report. But I feel like it should. That hopefully, maybe it does. Hopefully, that charge pertains to what you're filing it about. Like if you file a uh, a false, you know, somebody this guy really assaulted me terribly, uh-huh. and then it, it's turned out that you clearly just made the whole thing up. You should get in as much trouble as that person would have if they would have been found guilty for like a violent assault. I've seen a ton of videos, and I want to say it's Russia. Yeah, uh, where people are, you know, they try to throw themselves in front of cars to get. Uh, insurance claims. Yeah. And they will throw themselves in front of the car and then people in the car get out and kick the shit out of them. Oh, that's so great. And they're great dash cam videos. That's so great. Like, like oh, and they flop into it. And, and instead then, of getting worried, they just get out and beat the shit out of this dude. Love it. And so it's a little little payback. Because the dash that cam- be legal. Dash cam caught it. Mm-hmm. It's like, so you're not getting away with it. And then- right. I'm not sure if they ever got in trouble for just beating the shit out of some dude. How great would that be it's if, Russia, that, if that was legal? Probably mm-hmm. not, but like if, if there's actually like a, they, they passed that law that if you tr- if you throw yourself in front of somebody's car for 60 seconds, they get to fucking tee off on you. <laughs> R- crime free. No worries. No worries. I Kuna, would, Kuna Matata. Mm, I would support that bill. <laughs> it's called a Kuna Matata? It's, it's a Kuna Matata bill. <laughs> if you throw yourself in front of somebody's car, they get to kick your fucking face around no for worries. a solid 60 seconds. <laughs> and no worries. No worries. Whatever. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. If, you, if, you, if they beat you to death, well, then you shouldn't have thrown yourself in front of their fucking car. Absolutely. You? Right. That's a better way for society to work. Yep. In general. More violence! Hopefully, hopefully, in, th- in that situation, a lot of people do get beaten to death, mm-hmm. so they can just out of the fucking gene pool. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Darwin. Quit doing this. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. let's move on to One Star Heroes. Let's do it. Okay, Zach, thanks. I get no respect in real life. I always am upset, so I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That just reminded me, just uh, going off in that last bit when I was having lunch with Liz and Kyle. We were talking about certain comics and certain just artists and stuff who are different. Oh, stop talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> who are different? <laughs> Come on, man. different off stage than they are like 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 oh. their on stage oh, yeah. act is completely an act. Mm-hmm. And and I and I just was joking with them. I'm like about how I've met a lot of comics who that is true. Like their comedy does not represent who they actually are on any level. They mm-hmm. just found a kind of a character that people don't know is a character that works and they go with that. But with me, it's like I've joked about like murder and stuff all that, like you know for so many years. I'm and I just told them, like their reaction was so funny to me. They were just like oh, and then just like laugh like mm-hmm. laugh kind of like, uncomfortable laugh. I mean it was shocking but funny to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
that I just, I think I just said out of nowhere, I'm like, yeah, I think about murder all the time. <laughs> like, like it's, I go that all those jokes. I'm like, not jokes. Wake up, murder. Wake up, murder. <laughs> Wake up. I, I'm like, I haven't killed anybody, but I think about how fun it would be to kill certain people mm. all the time. <laughs> not, <laughs> not just when I have a microphone. <laughs> right. You right. kidding me? It's not, not just only jokes. when I have a microphone. <laughs> those, those jokes, if anything, are the filtered version <laughs> Of the real insanity that I have to fucking be careful not to dish, dole out too much. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture you standing there like, no, all the time you hold a microphone up to your forehead and just like, murder, 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 murder. Like, all these little voices in there. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Come on, come on. Deserve it. They don't have to hurt you. They make it better for everybody. Overpopulated. Overpopulated. <laughs> Danny, Danny, you got to do it. Danny, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do dirty work. You're, you're doing God's work. Just like, <laughs> and then move your microphone back down to your mouth. See? It's fucking crazy out here. See? Like, it's a wild time. <laughs> Uh, so, so this one, yeah, the passion of the Christ, this was sent in by, uh, <laughs> dummy and bad magician, Ashley Phillips. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. And these are very funny. So, okay. I'm going to set up a few things about this movie before we get into it. So this very successful movie on Amazon, you know, 12,880 ratings. I mean, it's hard to find something with that many ratings, 4.8 out of five, hmm. very well received overall. Um, you know, and it's, and it's about the Passion of the Christ. It says it's a 2004 American biblical drama film produced, co-written, directed by Mel Gibson, starring Jim Caviezel as Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, you know, a few other actors, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. It uh, depicts Passion of Christ, uh, the Passion of Christ largely according to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Draws on pious accounts such as the Friday of Sorrows, along with other devotional writings such as reputed visions attributed to Anne Catherine Emmerich, and this, I think this was a, uh, she was like a nun in, yeah, Roman Catholic uh, nun. I can't remember exactly when she lived. Okay. But it, but it, f- it focuses primarily on the final 12 hours before Jesus' death. And it Which says, no, not highlights for him as far as, no, as, as, a, lot as like of agony. a good time. A lot of agony. Snuff film. Yes, <laughs> right, yeah. yes. It is kind of, it has been described in some reviews actually, Zach, as a, like a, a you know, torture porn kind of snuff film. It's very violent, mm. but it's about the crucifixion. So of course it is. And it says, you know, right here, the film was mostly shot in Italy. The dialogue is entirely, in, entirely in Hebrew, Latin, reconstructed Aramaic, not in English. Mm. Uh, when this movie was in the theaters, not in English. And I say this because 90% easily of the one-star reviews are people infuriated <laughs> that they have to read subtitles. <sighs> that it's not in English. Like, this movie was marketed. I remember when it came out, it was marketed mm-hmm. specifically as in the original languages of the day, not English. And it's amazing how many people, like, didn't pay attention, didn't read the description, does fucking no homework, <laughs> and furious that it's not the thing that they want. Mm. And so, uh, let's get into it with first one. Uh, this one kills me. So, before we get into the language stuff, just, just this is just one of those random idiots that shows up in a lot of products. Amazon customer did not watch <laughs> one star. After saying, did not watch in the subject line, their description is, the movie was terrible. I turned it off the TV the first five minutes of the movie. So does you don't get to fucking decide if a movie's good or bad if you don't watch it. Uh, How's that concept lost on somebody? The movie was terrible. How the fuck do you know? You admitted you didn't fucking see it. At least, I mean, you got you got to get at least half. Yeah, get a halfy in, and then and then you can bounce. Yeah, but five minutes. Five minutes. That's a you barely made it out of the credits. <laughs> yeah, that's if absurd. that if, if that you, if you even made it out. Right. I'm trying to think of a movie that doesn't have a good start. Um, every Star Wars. Is that? <laughs> oh yeah, like it starts a little slower. No, I, then, I know. I'm just fucking around. I'm uh, just trying to make people mad, <laughs> right? But there's, <laughs> I have no but idea. there is plenty. There's yeah. plenty of like, like slow burners. If you would have left and you you would have missed all of right. it, right? Like oh well, fuck me. Oh, I, I love a slow burning series. I'm I'm watching one right now, Midnight Mass on uh, Netflix, and I love it. It's the same people who did like the house on uh, the Haunting of Hill House oh. and the house whatever Bly Manor or whatever. But it's like it's a slow burner. And if you only watch the first two episodes, mm. you can be like, Ugh, nothing fucking happens. Yeah. But if you understand uh, how a narrative goes on any level, just basically like um, stories, how they're built, you're like, oh, this is going somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I love the way they're developing these characters. Like you just gave uh, Breaking Bad five minutes. Right. You're like, oh, boring exactly. teacher. Boring. About, about, about a sick teacher. About a sick teacher. Boring. <laughs> boring, stupid. Or you watch Peaky Blinders. You ever watch Peaky Blinders? Yep. I watched uh, <laughs> the first two seasons. <laughs> right. And it's a really good show, mm-hmm. but it starts, yeah, you get re- it. it's super slow at the start. You're like, I don't know. And if I, I would have uh, been pissed if I left. Old timey crime guys, don't <laughs> right. do much. Bing, bing, bing. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> cool hats. Get out of here. Right. No thanks. Sweet haircut. Bye. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, next one, Deb. So here's the English stuff. One star. It's not in English, all caps. Mm. So disappointed. It's a great movie. How the fuck do you know if you do? Uh, and I really wanted to watch it today. Good Friday. 
Nowhere in the description or in any of the reviews does anyone mention that it's not in English. I don't want to read subtitles. I want to hear the dialogue in English. I'm glad I didn't purchase it. I've been trying to get a refund. So well, why, how, so why, why are you <laughs> reviewing it if you didn't purchase it? And why are you going for a refund if you didn't? Yeah. Right. <laughs> why are you trying to get a refund if you didn't purchase it? Oh, no, she just said, I, I would have been trying to get oh, a refund. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Fuck me, huh? <laughs> would have been. But still, um, I really wanted to watch it today. Good Friday. And now, by 2019, I will say there was another version out there that was dubbed in English. Mm. So, Deb, Debbie dumb shit, mm-hmm. fucking move on. Find that one. Take, I don't know, 30 seconds to do that. It's also on Amazon. And then go about your life <laughs> instead of wasting time. Writing a review of a product you didn't buy. Just these uh, super acclaimed foreign films and be like, dumb, dumb. I can't hear it in English. Buh. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Too different. Don't like. <laughs> Donna Blow, one star. What language do you speak? <laughs> Easy, Donna. It would have been nice to know this movie was not in English. Very misleading. No, it's not misleading because <laughs> it doesn't say that. It never says in English. You assume that hmm. and you were wrong because you didn't take 30 seconds to fucking look on Wikipedia or wherever and find out just the tiniest bit about this movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Next one. Okay, here's a wackadoodle. Uh, one star. Hollywood mockery of the Messiah Christ. True believers know this. <laughs> this movie only focused on Yeshua's Christ Messiah's death without bothering to show JC's gifts and wisdom. Gibson is a satanic Catholic baby. <laughs> <laughs> and fig- he is. He is. I mean, this person's credit. <laughs> Nailed it. Right. He, is a, he is a satanic Catholic baby. <laughs> uh, and, f- and fake believer, as is Caviezel... Mm. randomly capitalize his name wake up Hollywood is filled with posers and constantly lies turn to Yeshua when you still have the chance Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the life okay and then he just goes in the scripture easy and again uh, this is a weird thing where it's like it's not the movie you wanted it to be about Jesus but if you read the description of this movie it says it's the last 12 hours of his life <laughs> right. so that's just like such a fucking weird thing <sighs> To be like, I'm so angry that uh, Catholic satanic baby Gibson, who you clearly hate already, and the actor who you hate, didn't make a movie the way you wanted the movie to be made. Like you're, you're insane. It's absolutely you're just insane. insane. Uh, like a, a documentary was was filmed about. I don't know why this just popped in my head. It's yeah. a fucking terrible example of Bam Margera. Oh yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, this is the last five years of Bam Margera's life. Right. And then I watch it. I'm like, you didn't show anything from Jackass, right? Like that's stupid. That's a great example. He yeah. did a lot of cool stunts. You Come know, on, he used to do a bunch of cool skateboard show stuff. Show the it's Jackass like, stuff. Like, no, 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 no. We're showing the other part where mm-hmm. it, where it's it's it's, it's not, sad. It's sad. <laughs> We're showing the sad part. Is that a real documentary too? Uh, no, probably not. Oh yeah, because I was, I I was going to say that is sad. A tiny mini doc on it one time, and it was sad. Whew, I He's know. I, just I, trying so hard to turn it around. He, I don't think he will. I know. I can't watch his videos anymore because it does make me sad. But yeah. Come on, Bam. I know. Yeah, but, but Rudy, but hoping that he yes, does turn it around. You can do it. Very funny guy when he's when he's got his stuff together. But yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, this next one, one star, M P L I V, one star. Uh, in some foreign language with English footnotes, not cool. <laughs> what a weird way to write this. In some foreign language with English footnotes, uh, subtitles, right. not cool. Didn't watch but fourteen minutes of it. Weirdly specific. <laughs> right. If I wanted a foreign language on Easter Sunday, I wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> also weird. Also just another complete maniac. The one stars of this one, I would say 80% of them just seem like people <laughs> typing from a fucking institution somewhere. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. And calling it footnotes. It's like trying to watch it. There's always something footnotes. in the fucking, in the margins. That's- it's on the bottom margin of this movie. Right. Who's writing in the margins of my, of my movie, my movie book? If I want, exactly. <laughs> if I want to watch a foreign language movie with proper footnotes <laughs> and you know appetizers, I wouldn't pay for it. Like, what do you, George? No Library. Knows, nor, no one knows what you're talking about, George. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, R2-D2. He's R2-D2. Life would improve for him if he woke up one morning and he was R2-D2. <laughs> then people give him a pass. They're like, and then they, can, they can assume he said cool things. <laughs> As opposed to, he's, you know, there's the assumption that he can speak English, but he's not real good at it. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, this next one, uh, Amazon customer. Oh. One star. Wish a zero rating was available. Mm. I saw this movie years ago in theater. It was amazing. Wanted to share it with my husband. Purchased it, and it was in a different language. <laughs> it would have been nice to know that, that it wasn't in English when purchased. Okay, so this one made me do some Googling. Mm-hmm. 
2017 here, this article comes out, for the first time ever in English and Spanish, the powerful epic, The Passion of the Christ, and then, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, when it came out in the theaters, it was not in English. It wasn't dubbed. <laughs> what was she talking about then? What, what? She did not fucking see it. She's lying. <laughs> she's not remembering it correctly. Or I th she's so fucking dumb that she saw it in the theater, angry there. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't this in English? <laughs> fucking storms out and then just forgets about how mad she was. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I want my husband to see The Passion of Christ. I remember being great. I remember this movie awesome. <laughs> and then watch, how oh, oh, it's not in English? <laughs> yep, same as it wasn't before. Satanic Catholic baby. You fucking satanic Catholic baby. <laughs> that is a great three adjective. Wow. It's like, burn. Oh. Okay. What, are you, what are you, some kind of satanic Catholic baby? <laughs> oh, well, we got another Mel Gibson on our hands. Another satanic Catholic baby. <laughs> baby is what makes it for me right, at the end. No, it's just like, whoa, he shrunk me. <laughs> right, right. Why'd, you, why'd you shrink me? <laughs> you, made, you made me not scary at all <laughs> by making me a satanic Catholic baby. Here, here's the dumbest person I found in the comments. <laughs> Gustavo Castaneda. Or uh, Casta, Castaneda. Audio is Hebrew. One star. But this is why it makes it so dumb. Only available in Hebrew. I purchased twice. <laughs> and same results. Holy shit. You take the fucking dummy kid. <laughs> that you got a movie. That if, if you would have looked into it, you know it isn't Hebrew. <laughs> you buy it. And you're like, ah, they gave me the wrong the Hebrew one. Oh, I, I guess I'll just go to the exact same link <laughs> and buy it again. And buy it a second time. <laughs> oh my God. What? I ordered the exact movie twice and they gave me the exact movie. <laughs> what are the odds? I don't know. I, close to 100%. I see, him, I see his thought process where he bought it and he <laughs> thought he missed like a little drop down menu. <laughs> that would, like chose the language. He's like, oh, fuck <laughs> me. God damn it. Yeah. And he goes back and he goes, well, there wasn't one. He goes, I must have been on a different part of the page. I'll just buy it again. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he just fucking got duped. Gustavo, if you do that in the future, don't tell anybody. <laughs> just just no. sit down and shush. Just keep that shame quiet. Just shush. That's you. You just, re just reviewed yourself. <laughs> just read the footnotes and pretend you like the movie. And this is just a weirdo. Zach Beauregard, one star, mad. Mm. Instead of getting this movie, I... <laughs> Oh yeah, never mind. This this one is just funny to me. Uh, instead of getting this movie, I got five wall plugins with remotes to turn them on <laughs> and off. I'm extremely upset. <laughs> so not the movie's fault. This is you. You need to contact Amazon customer service. But I just love the way it's written. Mad. Right. Instead of getting this movie, I got five wall plugins with remotes to turn them on and off. I'm extremely upset. I just love picturing him so mad when he opens up the package. I love that. Can't man. wait to watch the movie. <laughs> I love that Amazon mess up. I don't know why that's mm -hmm. so funny to me. It's such like a weirdly specific. Like I buy bought some Excedrin and then a pizza showed up. <laughs> right, it's so far what away. The fuck. Like I want to watch my movie, but instead like... I got a Prius. <laughs> right. What? Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I got a fucking year supply of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> all, and, all, and all I needed fucking was a wall plug. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's funny to think about this other person getting like uh, the Passion of the Christ <laughs> instead of five remote control <laughs> right. wall plugins. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they just flopped them on him. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Venus233 at Hot mail.com one star to violate mm, that would just nailed me up it. just because like what did you like about the movie to violate <laughs> what's was, was happening was happening no one found it helpful no one found it helpful <laughs> that venus found this movie to violate <laughs> uh <laughs> the last one <sighs> uh very simple amazon customer i don't like this film mm. i'm writing this review so amazon will quit recommending these kinds of movies to me i put this at the end because this is so funny they don't get how the algorithm works uh -huh. they think they can write to the robots yeah. and amazon be like please stop recommending me this movie and just leave it in that comment feed uh -huh. and the a amazon uh, ai robots will see but oh whoa, whoa. this this uh greg quit, quit bugging him greg doesn't want to be recommended <laughs> passion of the christ that's not how it works. No, the more you it, interact it's, with it. It's based on other purchases and interacting, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So if you're purchasing things similar to this movie, it's going to recommend this movie. You don't get to go to that movie's comment section and be like, knock it off! <laughs> stop! Enough! <laughs> stop! I texted stop! <laughs> like, he's I'm, going in there, he's like, I told it to stop! <laughs> I'm picturing this person spending hours a day. Like, like, like they, they leave this comment and then they go back on there and then Amazon recommends something else they don't care for. Mm. Recommends like Halloween stuff, double stuffed Oreos. What? No! I like sick. Huh. And then they gotta track down the, the, the <laughs> spooky Oreo cookie. I, please, I've never eaten these. I prefer single classic Oreos. Just let me be. Just let me live my life. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me alone, Oreo! And keep spiraling, because then they like go to another thing, and because they spent so much time on the fucking Oreo review, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden it's like nothing but Oreos. No! 
And they have to go to like every single Oreo. I don't like this kind. Amazon, <laughs> please stop ruining my life. <laughs> <sighs> There's got to be some great stories of Amazon just sending completely the wrong product. Oh, I bet. Yeah. There has to be. I mean, if our dummies do have a, a story, I would love to hear it. You can send that into dumb at iswedumb.com. Um, I've gotten some stuff, but it wasn't yeah. like really bad. Yeah. What, uh, the funniest one was I ordered. Oh, man, I'm, I forget what it was. I want to say it was like a tripod, huh? and they sent me a giant gun case. <laughs> that That's pretty, like, that's pretty like far a, Like a rifle traveling hunting gun case. <laughs> right. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's like, I mean, I guess that is funny now that I think about it. Right before you said uh, gun but case? I don't think it was a tripod. It was something like not even fucking close to this thing. I wanted to be tripod because I didn't jump in fast enough. Uh -huh. But I want, I was I was going to jump in with like, you're like, uh, you know, I, uh, I ordered a tripod. And I'm like, and they sent me instead. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> honk, honk. Wiener joke. <laughs> <laughs> and they sent the black destroyer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Kind of a tripod. <laughs> hey. hey, hey. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, I want some happy news. I do, I do. The last thing I want to, when you're talking about crazy uh, product mix-ups, mm -hmm. I wonder if there's just one example out there of somebody's marriage crumbling specifically because they got sent the wrong thing. Mm, I can see it. And, and they just couldn't let it go. Like they got sent porn or they got Birthday sent a gift. Sex toy. Yeah. Instead, instead of like something or like uh, lingerie that's not even the right size <laughs> for a wife who would never wear that. And, like, like something you, you, you ordered everything right with the lingerie. Right. But for whatever reason, it's like quadruple X. Oh. And your wife is maybe a small. Right. And then marriage over. Right. It's like, I it just, me. It just spirals from there. I wonder if you had any grounds to sue. Amazon. Sadly, in today's climate, There's I no feel way. like you could. Oh yeah, but they'd be like. Bruh. But hope, I, yeah. Hopefully, they just throw that shit out of court. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> now, now good news. <laughs> now, now okay. good news. Sorry about okay, that. Okay, do it. Do it. Zach. Sliver of hope. <laughs> Sent in. Oh, sorry about that. I'm sure that was really fun to listen to. Me no, just holding not, out a hard S. Oh, no, it just, wasn't too bad. Okay. It was good. It was okay. good. Anyway. <laughs> Sent in by Dummy Abby. 300 bikers. A company bullied schoolgirl to prom uh, after she suffered years of torment. Wait a minute. I wonder if I know this group. This is a group we may have donated to. It's not to Baca. The, oh. But okay. they, they do say okay. the group the group name. Gotcha. It's not the ones that go to court with the, yeah. with the kids. Gotcha. But okay. Okay. a similar kind of brotherhood. So a school girl, girl who had suffered at the hands of bullies for years had the last laugh after showing up to her prom with an escort of almost 300 bikers. That's so cool. Felicity Warburton, 15, was made to feel uh. worthless by her tormentors from the age of just seven and had been terrified about the Damn. event. But she was stunned when bikers showed up in their droves, revving their engines to applause from Felicity's classmates and teachers. Now, she does have dyslexia and uh, Asperger's syndrome. Wow, and they've been like harassing they fucking her harassed for... her, yeah, even to the point where Damn. she uh, uh, tried to commit suicide oh in the my last God. year. So her mom, Catherine Warburton, uh, put out an appeal on Facebook last month asking the WAC Motorcycle Club <laughs> to attend the prom at the Worcester Warriors Stadium to support the teen. I think that might be the, it's, it's one of those random words. Is it, my, is it Wooster? That might be. Yeah. I have no idea. It's one of those ones where I'm like, I remember like seeing it and be like, fucking what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do you get that sound? So her mom wrote, Felicity had been looking around, uh, looking forward to her prom as she feels this will be a point where she can show them the bullies uh. that they can't hurt her anymore. Uh, they have bullied her so much. She has even uh, contemplated suicide in the past year. So I really want her, or want her prom to be everything she wants and needs it to be. Oh, that's so cool. So there's some fun. There's some yeah. pictures oh, in here. Oh, yay. yay. So thank you, Abby, that's for sending that awesome. in. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I hope those fucking bullies yep. felt like shit. Right. Uh, yeah, good. Good. <laughs> they tease her about that. Oh, my God. Just stop. I I, I was never a bully. Okay. Ever. Yeah. I hate, and I hate it so yeah. much. I never understood. It's like, why the fuck do you care? Right. And especially if it's someone who has a disability. Yes. It's that drives me yes. absolutely insane. Like yeah. uh, even before, I mean, sure you get a little more sensitive to it. Like I have Ezra, yeah. uh, you know, who's on the spectrum. So it's right. like, like naturally right. being a father, you're like, Hey, well fuck that. And like, sure. But it's sure. never been just like, not now it's always been that way. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully I think all you boys out mm, there fucking knock it off. I, I definitely like definitely had moments where like stood up for kids getting bullied, but then also I don't definitely never anyone who was handicapped. I think the closest to like really like bullying was, and I did apologize to this girl like way after school, but there was a girl who had a crush on me like for years and I was just like, no, just get away. And she was, 
she wasn't like uh, you know handicapped in any way, but she was. Not, as an adult, I learned she didn't have the best home life. Okay, and so she, you know, she smelled like pee. There was right. a lot of things like those things, and I just remember being embarrassed by people associated me with her. And I was like mean to her, of like, and I felt guilty about it for so long, just being like, "Get away from me!" And I'm sure I said like horrible little middle, little kid things. Pee, pee baby, get away from me, pee pants. Right. But uh, but yeah, yeah. This was high school. <laughs> like, well, that's true. Eventually, like school. you're growing out of it. Yeah, yeah, and if yeah, you, yeah. If you're not growing out of that bully stage, just fuck off. <sighs> it's so dumb. You don't know what you're. You don't know what damage you're doing. Right. Exactly. So knock it off. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Abby, for sending that in. I have yes. something really cool to show you that I guess never thought about, and it makes perfect sense. Okay. You ready? So to you from internet. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple, to you, from internet. And again, there will be a link in the episode description so that you can go look at this yourself if you would like to. Um, but there's a company in Egypt, I'm sure it's going to catch on more and more, that have taken jet skis okay. and just reframed them to look like cars. Huh. I gotta see this. I, yeah, I can't bring it up, bring it up on the screen. Oh so I just never what? thought of this being like even a thing. That is so cool. <laughs> I know. There's no audio. Uh let's oh just look at it. Oh my god. How fun does that look? So you I and your don't buddy even understand just understand how that works. So basically they just uh took the jet ski concept and just turned it into a car so it looks like a car is driving. That's so top. funny. I know how awesome that is. It just never crossed my mind. No. And so somebody and jet skis have been around forever. That Someone is finally so was like, funny looking. Why do jet skis look that way? I'm gonna make mine look like a car. And this looks like a little <laughs> Porsche, right? Like a little, almost like a, like a almost like a Porsche 911. Yeah, is that what I'm thinking of? And you just have two passenger seats, and you just cruise around in your car. Boat. Oh my god! And there's two, yeah. Now there's two of them side by side, and it just looks like these two cars driving on the water. <laughs> if I was hallucinating. And I saw that, I would think like it's definitely not real. <laughs> you just uh, you've gone to your happy place. It's a pleasant day on the beach. You're gonna right. do shrooms again. Yeah, because you really missed them and you needed to yeah. relax your brain. And you see that and you're like, oh no, I took too many. <laughs> Whoops. And you feel like you got the perfect high. And then you see that and you're like, no, I took way too many. <laughs> oh boy. I'm watching fucking cars in the water right now. <laughs> this down is gonna be real rough. <laughs> right. uh, but it goes on to name the company that does it. Uh, if you're interested, I will put uh, a link in the episode description. The boats. Can hit speeds up to forty miles per hour. It says they have Bluetooth, GPS. Like you That's can have a fun sound system in your car as you're I love cruising it. around. That is super fun. That is super fun. That's ingenious. <laughs> I know. It's just I love that. I just never would have looked at that and been like, I'm a shape of a car. I want to see one of those on the lake now. <laughs> let's, that, get, let's, <laughs> let's get one. Come on. Come on. Do it. Come on. Come on. You, you do it. <laughs> we, we start a Patreon for Is We Dumb. It's strictly just to bias these cars, and then we shut it down. <laughs> We're like, sorry guys. We got them. We got it. We got. Thank em. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, okay, so ready to hear from some dummies? Yes. I got I got one this week, and it's 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 about you, and it's really fun. Okay. Go. It's junk mail! I know that you already know about this. You probably mm. just forgot. I might have. Way back on Is We Dumb, yeah? you had a whole saga about your truck being in the shop. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And uh, I felt bad. He felt bad. The guy who worked there, his name was Adam. Yes, Adam. And we kind of just ripped him apart a mm -hmm. little bit. A little we bit. We were still nice. Yeah. I. Uh, it wasn't like it wasn't super bad at all. Right. And but I, it still I, it still was not like the nicest it could possibly. No. Be. And then I did apologize at the end for like ah, I was way too crazy. Right. Yeah. It's, sure. So anyway, guess what? Okay. Adam started listening. I love it. And Cause so because we didn't hear from him for a long time. No, it's been. So I, I just assumed that he just like heard the couple episodes about me complaining. Yeah. Because because yeah, towards the end. And when on one side kind of like worked things out with him, I was like, oh man, you should listen to these shows. Mm. And he said he was going to, and then I didn't hear from him. So I'm like, well, he probably listened to the ones about me bitching. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that guy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Hey, dummies. Just dropping a line that Adam is still listening to oh, the that, podcast. That's right. He was a listener already. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Yes. It took me a while to get to episode 24 where Dan apologized to me. <laughs> uh, LOL. It took even longer to email my update on status. So, Dan, it wasn't necessary to apologize because it was a company policy to update customers about their services. Due to your timing with COVID, ah. it was way hard updating people because us service advisors were overrun due to coworkers being out sick. Oh. Things are getting better and people are getting their updates now. 
We had to replace the two cylinder heads on your truck, and one of them was back ordered most of the time your truck was in for repairs. After we secured the parts, it took another week to find the time in the shop to put it into the sur- or into repairs. Yeah. We removed your front end with the cab for the repairs. The repairs took three days, and I'm sorry that I didn't update you. Come on, Adam. <laughs> He's a nice guy. I know, nice guy. He is. Uh, as a service advisor, we hate rental cars. Your plan only pays for 10 days, and as you know, you were in it, you're in way longer than that. Luckily, yeah. we can ask for more. I was able to get Ford to pay for about 80% of those days, and the dealership took care of the rest. Sometimes this doesn't happen, and the rental comes out of the advisor's pay. Not fair. Wow. That, that is not, why that we, is not fair. That is why we wait to see if the customer needs one. It's not right, but we don't want to have to worry if we're going to be paying for a Kern's rental. Yeah. I love the show, and I share it with everyone I know that has the mindset to listen to it. Nice. Fair point. Yes. Key at the end. Yes. Don't, like, if you're like, Grandma, you would love this show. <laughs> She probably wouldn't. She, cut you she of, might. She might cut you out of her will. <laughs> yeah, that worst case scenario. Yeah. Sad. I can't share your apology with everyone because management would be mad about the lack of updates. <laughs> keep up the <laughs> keep up the great work. Three out of five stars. Ah. Uh, that'll be five bucks for the email. Adam ah, from nice, Adam. So, oh, dude, thank you. Yeah, loved hearing from him. Because yeah. I do remember mm-hmm. uh, that was. <laughs> well, I, I know I talked about it on the show, but it was just like. It was so long. How many, was it months? Uh, it was over a month. <laughs> that, that it was like, it, it, yeah, it was just so frustrating because it's like, I just didn't I have my truck for the longest time. Yeah. And then I was like, and then I needed a vehicle. Like, I don't know. It was, mm. it was a very frustrating thing, but, <laughs> but I love the way that explanation came out where it's like, yeah, there was COVID, there was this policy. And that is the thing that I, and I do try to remember going into customer service things where it's like, sometimes their hands are tied. That was a good reminder where it's like. Yeah, they could say that like, yeah, there's this policy and it fucking sucks. But then if they do that, they could also lose their job Mm -hmm. for telling you, yeah, the company I work for is fucking stupid, (laughs) you know, and it has a bunch of stupid ass policies. Mm -hmm. So they can't do that. So their hands are tied. So they just have to like not give you information that they know you want to have or know that would make it better for you because it makes it bad for them and it just sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of times they're just like stuck in the middle. I will say the policy where the rental car pay could come out of his pocket. That's fucking bullshit. What the fuck is that? Come on, Ford. What the (laughs) fuck are you doing? (laughs) What the fucking... How is that even in there? Like, is that's it, insane. <laughs> get it out. It rem- that is the worst. It reminds me of uh, uh, certain restaurants, and mm-hmm. I know like comedy clubs. I remember hearing about this like with wait staff, like the dine and dash. There are certain places that comes out of the waiter or waitress's pocket. Okay, another sweet policy. Another bullshit policy that some places I don't even know how they legally get away get away with it. But you just you know run off on your bill. <laughs> they have to fucking cover it. And that is so oh, absurd. That's so Yeah, it up. sucks for the restaurant to have to cover it, but that makes more sense than the fucking random waiter or waitress having to cover it. Right. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's nobody's fault, but it's and like wh- you run a business, it's like, well, then that's a risk. Unless yeah. the waiter or waitress went up there, whispered, and just goes, just get out of here. Run. Right. No one's going to stop you. Run. Right. No, you then. Go on here. Get out of here. Then you got to pay. And, and that's and coming I, out of her pocket. And I wonder if they would rationalize it like, oh, well, you know, some people would invite their friends. Well, then you fire that person. Mm. Like if, if you have a waiter or waitress who like every, like, uh, 70 percent of their tables just bounce <laughs> and because because they're inviting all their friends like hey man come down here for a free lunch no it's great, <laughs> great. You, you just, i'm not gonna stop you you just leave and then the restaurant has to cover it it's amazing that's that's never gonna be a big problem because that person just gets fired <laughs> you're you're addressing a problem that could never exist <laughs> right. unless you're the worst like business manager of all time yeah like, that's so weird why does that keep happening Gosh, why does that keep happening <laughs> and, and just he's it, so nice to me and just the most non-confrontational <laughs> or like or just like you just back down no when well you're like, hey sheila I mean, gosh dang, you know, seven out of your eight, seven out of your eight tables again, bouncer. What are you trying to tell me, Dan? Are you trying to tell me that it's my fault? Do I need to talk no, to my no 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 no, 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 not at all. Just never mind. <laughs> never mind. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing you're doing great job. You're doing great. And Look how clean. <laughs> things are clean. Uh customers seem happy. They're just so happy they're just getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then that guy goes back to his office and just cries. You know, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose everything. We're gonna lose everything. <laughs> pumping himself up <laughs> just trying to get back out there the following week he's like god damn it I gotta talk to Sheila you gotta, you gotta be strong you gotta be strong five out of six tables tonight. I mean I mean, she had her family in last week I heard I heard her tell them don't even worry about paying for it just get out of here I mean come, that's grounds I have. I mean I don't have a, I don't have a video though I know. oh gosh dang I'll wait till next week <laughs> he, just, he just can't do it okay I have video but I mean it's not the best footage <laughs> and I, I mean I guess uh, well, you know they, I'll update the cameras that's what I'm gonna do I'll update the cameras <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing like a lav mic right like walking around super close to her to try and catch her say just get out of here <laughs> <laughs> he's sneaking around how's your food how's your food anything to say he's pulling his little lav mic out 
pulling uh, the sh- stretching his shirt out. Uh, okay, let's wrap up episode 62. Let's do it. Okay. Thanks to Zach Flannery. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Hello. You did Welcome. phenomenal today. Good I, job. Thank you. Probably because it's uh, the first episode of October. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's why. That's why to bring out your A game. That's right. Uh, Zach Cohen creating some of the custom music beds for the show. Logan Key, best merch in the podcast game, and we have that new "Is We Dumb" uh, death metal logo inspired yes. merch in there right now. It is awesome. We got sweatshirts, t-shirts, and even a backpack. So if your kiddos are going back to school and you want to add some flavor, Mm -hmm. there you go. Throw it on there. Badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com. You can follow us online, Facebook and Instagram at iswedumb. Uh, Liz Hernandez in the all-seeing eyes. Thank you for running our private Facebook group, which you can join at any time. Just look look up Is We Dummies. And then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bad Magic Productions. Go to YouTube, search for that. And if you have something you want to see on the show, email dumb at iswedumb.com. Mm-hmm. And if you just have a question, uh, which surprisingly is a lot of like, hey, I don't know where to send in stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have to tell you the other email. But yeah. uh, the one for just general questions is info at iswedumb.com. Okay. So those are the two. And and then rate and review us wherever you find your podcast. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Uh, okay, we're going to wrap things up with a, uh, a dad joke. Are you ready? I'm ready for a dad joke. Okay. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Wow, made that joke. Okay. Why were there two ducks in the back of the cop car? Two ducks in the back of the cop car. Mm-hmm. Why were there two ducks in the back of the... Because they, they got caught smoking quack. Yeah, you got it. Is that really they, it? They got caught selling quack. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed I it. I totally guess. I was so close. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, That's still, it's still cute. <laughs> it's still cute. <laughs> oh, just selling a little quack. Just selling a little quack. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> you see their little feet on the back seat? Like, what's the big deal? Just saw what a little quack. What's the big deal? I saw some quack. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye! It's week it's week Add Magic Productions.